Howdy everyone, this is your buddy BP, and I'm here to show off the new Warlock exotic armor pieces coming with the Taken King. Are the Space Wizards getting a good haul for the new DLC? Let's take a look. First up is the Alchemist's Raiment, an exotic chest armor piece. Its special ability, Iron to Gold, grants you the chance to collect Glimmer when you pick up primary ammo and when your super meter is full, Orbs of Light will charge both your grenade and melee abilities. I can see this being useful for Fireborn Sunsingers who like holding on to their super for emergency situations as this armor is dependent on its wearer only using their super after death when all the orbs on the battlefield disappear. But outside of that situation, I can't see much use for this. I guess if you're short on Glimmer and you're uh, out looking to farm for Glimmer, then you can wear this to boost your gain. But other than that, eh, I wouldn't use it. I like the look of it though. Next is the Astro Sight Verse, an exotic helmet. Its unique ability, teleportation, decreases the cooldown time of Blink and increases Blink's travel distance. Interesting how this comes on the heels of Destiny's Blink nerf, so I'm guessing this thing unnerfs Blink? Perhaps it makes it even better than it was before. I'll have to see it in action before I can say for certain. All I can say is that if you're a Voidwalker and you absolutely positively cannot fathom giving up Blink in the Crucible, then this sexy looking helmet is for you. Next are the exotic gauntlets, the Impossible Machines. Their unique ability, Lightning Rod, grants your Stormcaller Warlock the Landfall ability for free. Landfall is the ability where, when you activate Storm Trance, you unleash a wave of arc energy around you. This frees up your Storm Trance perk slot so you can run either um, Ionic Blink or Superconductor with Landfall at the same time. I imagine this will be a fairly popular armor piece for Storm Callers as it is designed to exclusively augment their super ability Storm Trance, which is an awesome super. Definitely uh, keep an eye out for this one. Next is the Ophidian Aspect, which are also exotic gauntlets. Their unique ability, Viper Tometic, improves your Voidwalker Siphon ability while also increasing your weapon's readying and reload speed. Basically, this is New Skull of Dire Ahamkara, only it now has an ability that can be used across all subclasses. The fact that they basically just ripped off the Skull's ability and stuck it on this armor piece and decided to call it a new armor kind of irks me a little, but the improved reload and readying speed does make it a more practical choice in PvP. Also, those twin Cobras, they look tight as hell. Our next exotic armor piece is the Stag, and it is a weird one. Its flavor text reads, Oh dear goodness, and its unique ability is called Doe or Die. Oh my god, Bungie, with the deer puns. Anyway, its unique ability allows your super ability to recharge faster once per life when all of your other teammates are down, and grants you with a random chance to respawn with an overshield. This could prove useful on events with small fire teams like Strikes, Doubles, or Trials of Osiris, but on activities with larger fire teams like Raids and Control, you may prefer to run with something else. Also, look at those antlers! I sure hope those uh, don't increase your head hitbox, otherwise you're going to get the living hell sniped out of you in PvP. Lastly, we have Transversive Steps, which are exotic boots. Finally, the Warlock gets exotic boots! Their unique ability, Strange Angles, increases your movement speed while crouching and instantly reloads your weapon when you collect ammo for its type. These sound like they could be pretty dangerous in PvP. Crouching in PvP means having a smaller presence on your opponent's radar and being able to instantly reload weapons by simply collecting ammo for them means you can get back into the fight faster. This may be the one Warlock exotic I am curious the most about. And those are the Taken King Warlock Exotics. I still think Hunters got the more interesting armors, but Warlocks definitely got the cooler looking ones. Do you agree? Let me know in the comments section, I love hearing back from you. Also, don't forget to spank that like button if you enjoyed the video or if you just plain found it helpful. Your support means a lot to me. And as always, y'all be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.